Hello, Physics Nation. My name is Nate Lormand, and I'd like to do a Khan Academy problem from a set called Average Velocity and Average Speed from Graphs. So here's the setup. A ladybug crawls vertically on a leaf. On a Yeah, a ladybug crawls vertically on a leaf. Its motion is shown on the following graph of vertical position y versus time t. All right, so as they stated, the dependent variable is vertical position measured in meters. The independent variable is time measured in seconds. And this graph is telling us a little story. At zero seconds, the ladybug is six meters above the ground and then is five meters above the ground at one second, four meters above the ground at two seconds. So the ladybug goes from a high position to a low position. You know, we can interpret all the regions here, but they're actually asking us for the average speed of the ladybug between the times t equals 4 seconds and t equals 7 seconds. So, you know, Khan will slice up this graph into 0 to 4 seconds, 4 to 7, 7 to 9, uh, 9 to 10, or whatever, 0 to 10, 4 to 10, like 7 to 2. Khan will slice up this graph into all sorts of different intervals. The interval they're interested in right here is from this point to this point. So at four seconds, that's the x, we are two meters away. And then at seven seconds, we are <laughs> still two meters away. So not rocket science. Uh, let me see, where's my calculation? Yeah, pardon the scrolling. I resketched the graph. Here's my ordered pair. That's the given information. Uh, oh, I do a little concept sketch, and so should you. This is called a frame of reference. To the right is positive x, and up is positive y. And the origin is down here. Usually the ground is zero meters. All right, always write your mathematical model. Here are the words. Average speed equals distance over time. Here are the symbols. The little bar means average, so it's you know, how far did you go divided by how long it takes? Well, we started at two meters and ended at two meters, so we didn't go anywhere. And it took us three seconds to go nowhere. So three seconds is the left-right shift. And change in y is the change in vertical position. But there is no change in y in this graph. So we're basically finding slope. The slope of this region is zero. So our average speed is zero meters per second. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.